Hello. And welcome to the Mystery Buzzard Theater 3000. Today, we will witness the story of Iphis. On the island of Crete, in the region of Phaestus there lived a little known dude guy named Ligdus. He was a free man, but of humble birth and humble standing. Who was well respected and trusted by everybody, everywhere, where our story starts. His wife, Telthusa, is pregnant. And coming close to the time of birthing. Wife who is near the time of birthing. I have a name. I have but two wishes. First, that your birthing will be quick and relatively painless. Second, I want a boy, now. Not a girl, a boy. If it isn't a boy, you will have to kill it. The parents to be wept, but Lagdus would not recant his demand. Despite his wife's ongoing, never-ending, continual begging. Then one night, when she could barely stand without keeling over, Telthusa had a dream. Here it is. Who are you? I am Isis. Isis the goddess, or Isis the host ganked down the street? I am the goddess. No more questions shut up and listen foolish mortal. You have been faithful to me. So, don't worry about your baby's gender for I am the goddess of help. I got this yo. Telthusa awoke and prayed for the dream to come true. Then she went into labor. Crap, it's a girl. Is it a boy? I want a boy. Um, yes, honey, it is totally a boy. Totally not a girl. Tot's a boy. No girly bits here. Just mine. Fantastic. You, um, don't want to check. I know a man when I see one. Lidgus named the child Iphis, which is just so conveniently a unisex name. Thirteen years go by during which Iphis grows up disguised as a boy and is engaged to her childhood quote-unquote sweetheart, Ianthi. Ianthi looked forward with joy to the wedding night they'd agreed on, but Iphis loved without hope of ever enjoying her loved one. I am so excited. Crap. I'll go stall the wedding again, and pretend to be sick. Again. Or dying. Again. Or a bird pooped on Zeus' statue and it's a bad omen or something. Again. Why must I be a lesbian? Why couldn't I have manly parts? Not even cows are lesbians. I wish I was a cow. Why did nature screw me over without any of the benefits? Unable to postpone the wedding any longer, Telthusa and Iphis go to the temple to pray. They didn't believe the Zeus poo spiel this time. We must go pray to Isis. She said she's got this. Oh Isis, goddess on the Nile. Help us, we need you. You told me that you would help me. And I've done the waiting. Thirteen years of it. In Azkaban. Now grant us your aid. Chillax, yo, I got this. The mother then left the temple. And if Fis followed behind her with longer strides than she normally took. Her girlish complexion had lost its whiteness. Her limbs grew stronger. And even her features sharpened. That female was now transformed to a male. I'm a real boy. Telthusa and Iphis took gifts to the temples in celebration of Iphis's transformation. The very next day, Iphis and Ianthi were married and lived happily ever after. Where the hell's that voice coming from? Thus concludes the story of Iphis. Thank you all for watching Mystery Buzzard Theater 3000. The purpose of this program is to make you sexier. Good night.